Do you enjoy long walks on the beach, cuddling in bed, and giving belly rubs? This may sound like a dating questionnaire, but they're actually questions that you need to ask yourself to find out what kind of a dog is right for you. Getting an Aussie is a really big commitment, almost as big as choosing the right person to date. How to know if an Aussie is the right dog for you is the number one most asked question that I get. So I'm gonna give you some information and then you can ask yourself questions about your life and find what really fits. Too many dogs lose their homes not because they're bad dogs, but because they're a bad fit for the family that chooses them. So great job for doing your research. Aussies are amazing dogs. That's why I've had five of them. They're really, really affectionate and they're great family dogs. They aren't particularly protective. So if you're looking for the kind of dog that's going to be a family defender, I wouldn't recommend an Aussie for you. The upside to this is that most Aussies bark less than any other dogs I've ever known. They range from about 35 to 65 pounds. And I really want you guys to take note of this because if you've seen my dog Luca from other videos, she is on the very smallest and daintiest end of the spectrum. She's 35 pounds, but she looks more like 30. So I don't want you guys to go out and get an Aussie and then when it grows to 70 pounds, you're calling me telling me to adopt it because it's way too big for you. If this size is too large for you, you might be interested in a miniature Australian Shepherd, which my mom has, and I'd be happy to make a video about that for you as well. Aussies were bred to go with shepherds to take sheep up into hills and mountains for long periods of time. So even though that's not what most of us will be doing with them, it's important to know this because they take their job as working dogs very seriously and their bond with humans is very intense. They're very easy to train and they learn super fast. If you get an Aussie, you shouldn't think of this as a side project or a hobby. They're considered one of the very most intelligent and high energy dogs. If you don't take the time to funnel this intelligence and energy properly, they will take it out on your house, your furniture, and they will hurt your children. But if you take the time to funnel it properly, you'll have an amazing best friend. An Aussie is still pretty much considered to be a puppy for the first three years of its life, so that's a really important period that's gonna be really time intensive, but also really fun. I like to direct their energy with walks, runs, taking them on bike rides or rollerblading, the beach or park or with grooming or even with just a car ride. So if you think that you'd enjoy doing these things then an Aussie may be right for you. Make sure that you really research where your dog is coming from before you get one and I can always make a video about that with more information for you guys if you'd like. If you have a dog or you're looking forward to getting one put in the comment box below what your favorite activity to do with them is. Be sure to like this video and share it with another dog lover. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me or Luca.